sometimes I just can't stop shooting. Six hour M18, or as it's officially known now, the Army gun. So the US Army has, and a bunch of other military branches, uh, have decided to make this their sidearm, their go-to sidearm. Um, I just call it Doodoo -doo Brown. If you follow my Instagram, you don't know why. The Doodoo -doo Brown P320, or the M18, whatever you want to call it. I've never really been a fan of Desert Tan, but as of late with the 19X, this Doodoo -doo Brown P320, I kind of, it's growing on me. Um, yeah, I, I like this new thing that a lot of these companies are doing now. And I, mean, I guess some companies, cause you know, they all submitted their own guns into the trials to get, get the contracts of the government and Sigwon. And therefore this is the, the gun of choice. But I like this whole 19X. I, I know it didn't start with the 19X, but I like this whole larger frame, shorter slide, variant setups like i like that a lot 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 because it works for me some people like long barrels so that they can laser point their way to these long shots at like 85. see you can do it with a short barrel anyway so let's talk about some of the features on this thing real quick i love these magazines like i don't know what it is something about these base plates they do it they just do it for me 21 rounds of just pure good nine millimeter sweetness and uh i don't like this safety the safety gets on my nerves and the reason why it gets on my nerves is because it is really small which you would think it was a good thing the problem is you forget that there's a safety on the gun so you pull the gun you go up to shoot and nothing happens because you got to drop the safety that's annoying and it's not a 1911 so my mind doesn't naturally think to sweep for the safety it feels like your traditional typical polymer framed striker fired gun so when i pick it up in my hand i don't think to sweep up for the safety but that's neither here nor there it is a very positive engagement it is intuitive once you realize it's there um it hurts ever so slightly but personally i'm not the biggest fan of safeties on my guns whatever um, of course you have this six hour romeo optic on here and uh essentially this is a p320 um i'm trying to see if there's anything that Like the trigger. You got this short take up. That's your wall right there. And then the brake. The brake is a little hollow, which is kind of typical for the P320s. It's not bad, it's just different. But as far as I'm concerned, like like I said, I like it like nice take up, strong wall crisp break kind of falls short on the crispiness of the break but it's still crispy enough to warrant a smile and that's what it feels different about it and even on to the finger like i believe the traditional 320s p320s triggers a little bit depending on which model you have triggers a little bit fatter this kind of skinny trigger i kind of like it um feels really good on the fingertips uh. So interestingly enough, usually when you throw red dot on a gun, it kind of changes up the, I, don't, I wanted to say harmonics, but it doesn't make any sense. Just to, just to kind of, the, the character of the recoil changes up a little bit. Um, sometimes it can make it a little, feel a little sluggish. Sometimes it can make it a little flippy, but because you have the shorter slide, um, as opposed to a longer slide, it the, the still, Yeah, it still, it doesn't, the gun just doesn't really want to flip on you to the degree that other guns do. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Let's go on for. There we go. One more. And we're out of bullets. I like it. 
but that's only because I like the P320. It's a little different, you know, got the safety, got the doo-doo brown color, of course the optic, but I mean P320 does come with the optic ready. I love the characteristic of the recoil largely because like I said, it's a shorter slide with the longer grip. The trigger is really nice. Honestly, the thing that stands out to me the most about the gun is the color. It's a 320. <laughs> like, 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 I like it a lot, like, cause it's a 320 and a cool color. Um, but, and I love these extensions on the magazines. That's for damn sure. Uh, I, I think, I think a lot of it, a lot of the coolness of this gun is the more intangible components. The fact that it's fielded by the army, right? Which is interesting because nobody was really checking for Beretta like that when the Army was fielding Berettas. At least I wasn't. I wasn't like, man, I want the Beretta 92 because the Army got it. <laughs> nobody was doing that. Um, but it is kind of cool to see, to be around, you know, when they make the change and they switch to something like this. So as you know, I mean, the head-to-head -head competition would clearly be this and a 19X. And I know a lot of you all are thinking, which one do you like better? This one or the 19X? Uh. Mm. Right now it's going to be the 19X. The only reason why is because I did something funky to it. But I'll talk about in another video. But right now, I just don't have enough trigger time on this thing to really kind of give my opinion on it. As far as it being better or worse than the 19X. This grip texturing is awesome. This, this... It, this grip texture is freaking awesome, actually. <laughs> like, this gun is not going anywhere. This grip texture is phenomenal. Uh, that, that's for one thing. Like I said, it's, I don't know if it's cool because it's the army gun or cool because it's just cool. It's because of the color. It's the color. It's a doodle -doo brown. Uncle Luke would be happy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, trust me, you're not missing nothing. <laughs> Six hour M18. <laughs> it's like every other P320, but this one feels special. It's, it's, you know what it is? I'm literally cycling through the inappropriate comparisons that I can make and realizing I can't say any of them because, well, YouTube. Yeah. Ah, I got it. It's like a girl changing her hair color. It was black at one point, and then she changes it blonde. And you're like, you're different. I did not like the old style. But this, you're the same person. You're the same person. But all of a sudden, I want to do things with you that I probably never thought about doing before. Like go to the movies, nasty bastard. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments and even days after you've had to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be scary thinking about the psychological effects, potential jail time, and the court costs associated with a self-defense shooting. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through it, which is why I use concealed carry insurance with USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can mitigate, if not completely eliminate, the stress and financial burden of the legal battle you may face after a self-defense shooting. As a bonus, you also get to access the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. Click below to learn more. And to help further spread our 2A message, don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit the bell and subscribe button at the bottom. Let my voice be your voice. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.